Natalie, and this is my friend Brooke. Hello! Today, we're gonna talk about how to give thanks. <gasps> Do you mean when I say thank you to my mom when she cooks me dinner? Yep, just like that. <gasps> We have so many things to be thankful for. We sure do. God gave us so many amazing things. He sure did. Let's all stand up and sing about how amazing he is. <gasps> Mountains and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God. Oceans, mountains, and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. guessing game next. Ooh, I love guessing games. Everyone, get out your special eyes. Zoop, 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 zoop. Hi friends. Today we're going to take a really close look at some of my favorite things about fall. I'll show you a close-up image of something you've probably seen during the fall. As soon as you think you know what it is, shout out your answer. Are you ready? Let's go. Hmm, what do you think this first image is? Time's up. What is it? If you said candy corn, you're right. Do you think candy corn counts as a vegetable? Here's the next one. What do you think this might be? Time's up. What is it? If you said hay bale, you're right. Hey, what do you say we do another one? I wonder what this could be. Time's up. What is it? If you said pumpkin, you're right. Wow, I'm really pumped you guys got that one. Now, what do you think this might be? Time's up. What is it? If you said scarecrow, you're right. I was a little scared you might miss that one. Study this next one carefully. Shout it out if you know it. Time's up. What is it? If you said fallen leaf, you're right. Great job. What a relief to get that right. What do you think we're looking at here? Time's up. What is it? 
If you said pumpkin pie, then I'd like whipped cream with mine, please. Oh, and you're correct. Great job! I wonder what this could be. Time's up. What is it? If you said corn stalks, you're right. This made me think of a joke. Oh, never mind. It's too corny. What do you think we're looking at here? Time's up. What is it? If you said spider web, you're correct. So, do you think the spider's home is called his website? Alright, this is our last one. Can you figure out what this is? Time's up. What is it? If you said caramel apple, you're right. Great job. Way to stick with us to the end. Well, I don't know about you, but I sure had a lot of fun. Thanks for playing, friends! Great job, friends! God is amazing and he gave us so many things. I have a great story about that. Do you want to hear a story? Oh, good! Let's get ready to listen. Let's turn on our listening ears. Click, click, in our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Everyone, clap, 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 and put your hands in your lap. The Bible is God's story, and it starts like this. In the beginning, God created the world. All God had to do was speak, and the world came to be. On the first day, he created light. On day two, God created the sky. And on day three, God created dry land and seas and plants and trees. Then on day four, God created the sun, the moon and the stars. On day five, God created animals in the sea and sky, like fish and birds. Then on day six, he made animals that live on land. He also made people. God named the first people he made Adam and Eve, and they were God's friends. Everything was perfect. That was until a very sneaky snake told Adam and Eve some lies. Lies are when we don't tell the truth. Adam and Eve believed the snake's lies and disobeyed God. When Adam and Eve disobeyed, it hurt their friendship with God. Since then, everyone does wrong things that hurt their friendship with God too. But he knew this was going to happen and already had a plan to fix it. God wanted to speak to us and tell us how much he loves us. So he had a lot of different people write down his words and put them in the Bible for us to read. So when we're reading the Bible, we're reading God's words. God's word is God's very true story of the things he has done to show us his love and fix our friendship with him. And we should read God's story, the Bible, every day. What a great story! God gave us everything, and that's what we need to know today. Say this after me. God God gave us gave us everything! Everything! <gasps> oh! Like, like this pumpkin? Yep. And my mom and my dad? Yep, <gasps> oh. them too. And the Bible? You got it. And the Bible is a special gift from God to us. Oh man, that is so exciting. Let's all stand up and sing. Love each other, love each other. As brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters. In honor others, in honor others. More than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family, we can help and love. We gifts to each other from up above. You and me, all the people we see. We're all part of God's family. Love each other. Each other as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor 
love each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. That song reminds us of all the good things God gives us and how we should treat other people too. Yeah, I am so glad God gave us the Bible. Me too. Let's remember this, are you ready? God. God. Gave us. Gave us. Everything. Everything. Oh, there's a verse in the Bible that can help us remember to be thankful. Say this after me. Thank God. Thank God. For this gift. For this gift. Too wonderful for words. Too wonderful for words. 2 Corinthians 15, 9. 2 Corinthians 15, 9. Great job, guys. Before we go, let's all close our eyes and quiet our hearts to pray. God, thank you for all the wonderful things you've given to us. Help us to be thankful for all of those things and to say it out loud. We love you. Amen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.